Hello, Jess Too Good here, and the LEGO Indiana Jones 2023 sets have been found in a local toy store. Looks like the rumors of the Temple of Doom cancellation might be true, with that set not being found alongside of these. Regardless, there's the $170, or at this store, $150 Temple Escape Diorama with 1,545 pieces and four minifigures. The Escape from the Lost Tomb set with 600 pieces, four minifigures retailing for $50 and the fighter plane chase with 387 pieces, three minifigures retailing for $40. So for the temple escape found by you Lego man on Instagram, we have just this one picture. This thing is very good. While this set retails for $170, the shop seems to be selling it for 150. Maybe 150 is the final price. Of course, we had the original version of this set in 2008, which was originally $60 with 554 pieces, this one almost having a thousand pieces more. But it's crazy how similar these two are, where this original set is very much like the 18 plus display sets of these days. These being 150 at this shop, or 170 at regular retailers, with 1,545 pieces makes it a little odd something like the plane is missing from this version. But unlike the original version, this has a brick built boulder, not a one piece design, and the original version used large brick platforms which were also single large pieces. The base here is much like the other quote diorama sets from Jurassic Park and Star Wars, which makes for a brick built base of a lot more bricks. So yes, I think this version is a lot better. The original one didn't have the vine swinging section covered, but did have the violent spear section which I considered one of the most violent Lego play designs. I understand why it was cut despite the new set being 18 plus. Satipo still appears and uses a nice screaming face here. The original one had Technic pulls for its boulder function. I like the look of this new one's play feature for the boulder, which seems to be a more thought out play feature, but I can only tell from the front. I can imagine that it works wonderfully compared to play features nowadays versus 2008. The idle section is vastly improved, this time with a light brick included at the top. I love the brick built stone faces at the back. Very clever jumper tile uses. The idol itself is even slightly different in its molding. It's a different piece from last time. The last version also had Jock with the plane, a character who's missing here, but we do have a Hovita warrior for the first time in this set. Belok uses the same hat piece, and of course, it's amazing that Indy is getting a new hair hat combo for this wave. I will say the let us hurry quote here, let us hurry, there's nothing to fear here, that's what scares me. I don't know, that's not really a memorable quote for me from readers. So I wouldn't have minded if this set didn't have the black plaque display and the quote feature and was just a little bit more of a temple grounding, but it's not a big deal. For the Lost Tomb set, revealed by Learning Express, I can't see a Star Wars reference like the original one had. I hope that's in this set, maybe the sticker is obscured. The new Anubis statue builds add a lot of flavor. The set just looks oddly small for its $50 price, but the 600 piece count indicates something different. Interesting. I'm really just trying to see the value here, but I guess we have to see the back of the box. I like the new mummy design. Marion's update looks great. And finally, we have a Lego Salah minifigure. That's a character that looks great as well in Lego form. As for the fighter plane chase, this set is the least direct translation of a previous set. In 2009, there was a fighter plane chase set, but it was a $50 set that also had Indy and Henry's biplane. This approach is a $40 set with the Nazi plane still, no symbol on the tail, with this new version capturing the escape car for Indy and his father rather well. That was not in the original version. I really like the updated Lego Sean Connery and the little sign to Berlin here. So yeah, odd reveal. I wish LEGO would have revealed these way back as people have been asking, but now they're just showing up in stores. So check your local toy shop and they might have these sets as well. I can't wait to get my hands on them. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite of the three. Personally, it's the Temple Escape for me. The sources on Instagram will be linked in the description and I haven't announced it officially yet, but I will be streaming on Twitch once again. So check out Just Too Good YT on Twitch and I will be streaming some classic video games as well as Lego sets that I'm building. And by classic video games, I mean stuff like Toy Story N64 and Yu-Gi-Oh! 2006 on GBA. Stuff from my younger years, so check that out if you're interested. As for Lego builds, I'll be streaming a build of the Flying Wing set from 2009 there this week, so definitely follow there if you're interested to be alerted when I go live. Subscribe here for more LEGO news and commentary, and I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye.